my best Felix Tunzi impression. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Tunzi YouTube channel. Yeah. We're going to upgrade Mike's tank to the latest version of the 6105, the EcoStream Hub Edition. We're going to save one of his older pumps and address his need for directional current, and we'll get with him about updating that later because you can update these pumps, you can put in the new drive units and get the energy efficiency. And they're fully upgradable, but we're going to work with him on one of the things he wanted to do is get back the real estate by eliminating the wave box and keeping the wave. So while I'm working on setting up the pumps, Felix is going to work with Mike about getting everything set up on the hub, getting him a hub account, and we'll walk you through all the steps of setting this up. I'm gonna cover the basic assembly. We've got our manuals, power supply, the pump. The controller, our magnet holder, and optionally, there's a narrower front housing. From talking with Mike, for his purposes, you generally would use this narrower housing if you're more concerned about protecting small fish that could swim in here. That doesn't seem to be an issue here, and for the purposes of the, the way we're trying to achieve, the wider flow will probably work the best. One thing I need to do to prepare these pumps is put the cable protector on. The reason we include this is over the years we learned that sea urchins in particular are drawn to the algae on the cables. And when they're gnawing on the cables, they just keep gnawing all the way through. So this protects the cable from damage. If you have triggers and other large predatory fish, I've seen them just chomp right through cables, so puffers. And in that case, you need something probably more heavy duty than this, but this is definitely good protection against just grazing animals, just gnawing through the cable, getting carried away. We use a very high grade polyurethane cable. It's actually made in Germany and made for these pumps. These are tedious to put on, so we're not gonna cover the entire process, but especially if you have sea urchins or some larger tangs, any sort of grazing animal, I've seen it happen where they just start grazing at the algae on the cable and they just keep going and they eat all the way through the cable. So the current power supply is universal. You have to select the right adapter. You will get a European adapter and a US adapter on US and European products. It just clicks in. Now we're gonna pass it off to uh, Felix and Felix is gonna get Mike set up on a Tunzi Hub account and I'll start installing the pumps. Tunzi-hub.com Tunzi minus? Yes. No, minus, I mean the... the, the Oh, Dash, Dash. sorry. Uh. <laughs> German, in German, in German. I'm sorry. Dot com? Dot com. Okay. <laughs> Dash. Plenty, you got plenty of cable. And then I can feed it underneath. We've pulled the cable through. We've got the pump mounted. Um, we're about to power it up. The power supplies that these use are really unique. They meet uh, medical technology standards. They're built to last for a, a million hours. And so with this high lifespan, as well as the additional safeties inside to protect against shock, you can really rely on them. They, you know, if there were ever some sort of safety issue, they would trip immediately and shut off. Once I have this powered up, Mike and Felix will connect to the cloud and, and get this pump online. So the first thing you want to do is push on mode until you have set it to cloud. And this is here constantly blinking, okay? Only to let you know, whenever the connection is lost to the servers, 
the pump will actually do what, what, what was last set on them. They have their own um, real-time clock, so if you unplug them and replug them, or plug them in again, they just continue with whatever you have set before. Yeah, you don't lose any flow yeah. if you, yeah, you, do, you don't lose any flow if any connection is lost or so. If you want us to go more in detail, actually we already made a video where we set up the full adjustment, also in English, so we leave a link down in the description for you. So just click on that and you get way more information, but we want this video to be entertaining, so we just do the wave. Okay. Now we don't want constant power, mm -hmm. but we wanted to just do a wave, so you can click on it and go on fast pulse. What we, what we want the pumps to do now is maximum power at 100%. Just slightly. Yeah. Yes, perfect. And minimum power 0%. The pulse time, there is this button over here. You can, sorry. Yes. And with this we adjust it now. So typically for a tank of this size we want it to be... My tank is one meter and I have almost half a second. I'm 0.47. And then you just click on this play button here next to it. Okay. And so it, it's trying to... Okay. Yeah. Now we have a look at the tank. Yeah, it's now trying... It's yeah, now we're starting to get a wave already. So. Yeah, but this is that, is doesn't that? work. Oh, is that? But is, is it both of them working now? Because yeah. I've seen it. Only it's one's working. working. The power's off. What happened? Huh? One eternity later. So from this wonderful position, we have the monitor here, a mouse, mm -hmm. and from his desk you can really watch his tank. And to, all together we have now found out that at 0.95 seconds we played around at 950 millis milliseconds we had the best result between 0 and 100% when we really wanted a hard wave. But actually, this is too much for the tank. Mm -hmm. So we now set it from 5% to around 50. We can always adjust it. And now we have this wave effect and it's still not too much of a flow in the, flow in the tank. So you want it like this or stronger? No, I mean, you can you can adjust it every, whenever you want. Well, all you do when you adjust it, do I just bring down the, the five to fifty? Yes. I, like I said, I know that they, it's good to have the extra power. I like to play with stuff, so it'll be nice <laughs> to kind of go in there with the software yeah. and just kind of like update the flows and change the different intensities and stuff yeah. like that. Because, like you said, I sit in there and I watch, my, Ooh, it's too like crazy versus. It's calm and stuff I like just, that. I do want to show you those controllers have mounting brackets. Oh, this and that's going to be just, part of my, um, you know, I'm going to go and yeah. make it all nice now that I have the new controllers underneath this so I can, I can put that up. That's, that's going to be fun. So actually this was fun. <laughs> if I would tell you this was all very easy, it would be a lie. So you have to go through it. You have to, you have to try finding the right frequencies always. Uh, Finding, experimenting. Yeah, experimenting. it's always experimenting. Yeah. There's no rule that works for everyone, so you, you have to try actually. For this tank, it's about a, sec a second for this wave, 950 milliseconds. Only a rule of thumb for you to start if you have. What is the size here? If only for six feet. Six yeah. feet, six perfect. Meters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the result is actually we still get a wave without the wave box. Yeah, we need almost no power now actually because one of these pumps only drains 11 watts at 100% even for the biggest wave we now let it only run at maximum 50% and 50% of the time off so it's more like 3 watts per pump if there is real flow in it so any battery backup will run forever on this <laughs> And actually, there's a chance you have more real estate now. We yeah, have more yeah. flow. And is it a bigger wave now? Would yeah, we, well, we can. Good. We're only running at 50%. So, you know, if we took it to 90% or 100%, we saw more movement um, and bigger waves in there. But having that, that adjustability where you can have a wave, but also still have the tank where things aren't being splashed around is, is, is great. So. Yeah, and you can use them as normal flow pumps. Yeah, as yeah. normal flow pumps, yeah. exactly. And the noise. Yeah, and you get you get rid of the noise. Actually. Yes, my old pumps um, at night. Yeah. I used to when everything was quiet. You'd hear the zzz, like ah, back and forth. Um, with these, I think you, you, it's, it's. Yeah. Do you still hear them? I mean, they're freshly installed. No, you I used to sit in my office and be able to okay. hear the old pumps. I could hear really? when they would cycle. Okay. You know, but again, it was a low. But I just noticed it. But these. Yeah. The only thing I'm hearing more is more water movement, which is natural in a tank this size, right? You hear the waves like a little splash once in a while, and then the overflow boxes, but. Perfect.
So this was a pleasure actually, and a little adventure with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I, you know, I didn't know you guys were actually going to actually retrofit the tank. I could <laughs> drop off the box and say, hey, there's some pumps and stuff like Fine. that. But just go for it. I'd be like, well, sure. But no, this, is, this has been all. I'm actually looking forward to this weekend because, like I said, I've been in this hobby for years. Um, this tank's probably 13 years old, but every weekend, every couple times a month, I'm, I'm tinkering around with something. Yeah. And it's been a while since I've added any new fish, any new coral. But now I got some new gear, so I'd like to go and play with that and, 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 and just, you know, see how that works out too. So I'm excited. If you want to have a wave in your tank, if you want to replicate this in your home, I think you could start with one pump and you already have a good result. Now you know how to do it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you for your, for your time. Thank you for opening your door for us. It really was a pleasure for us, really. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. I don't know what's, what's our next adventure, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. See you.